Our camera's focus would be affected for no reason. We would be touched and hear movement around the room. Occasional orb activity, including rooms we weren't even in. Continued focus problems, especially when a certain name was said, EVPs were caught, an attachment so strong it had to be pulled off of Vanessa and actually affected the power to the rest of the motel. Knocks on our door, but no proof to the cause, and something affecting our equipment causing it to continuously to shut off. When we investigated the house beside the motel, we captured this. What appears to be an orb, as you slow it down, you can see it come up beside Mike's right shoulder. Up in the attic area, there have been several reports by witnesses in the past of what appears to be spirits of children going past the beams in the attic. As you can see here, the beam appears to disappear slightly as a shadow goes past it. After our investigation in the house, Vanessa's left eye was being severely affected. It was being pulled inward. We later found out there is a condition called strabismus. While we were in the house doing the investigation, she kept reporting the children kept saying the bread is moldy. We would later find out our entire loaf of bread was indeed moldy. We had just bought it. We also noticed the pictures that Vanessa had taken. As we zoomed in and examined these photos more, we noticed that these little anomalies could not be ruled out as dust, dirt, or bugs. And there's another one that. over there, right? So I went to the shop to later, and I know where they put the peanut butter and the bread. So the peanut butter is out because I like eating peanut butter once. Same. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so I often uh, I would just wake up like, you know, I'm just like a drunk. Like I just wake up and pull the drawer, grab four slices of bread and leave it in the drawer. And I jeez, peanut butter is here. <laughs> <laughs> so I just blink my eyes. The peanut butter is back there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And then a cheese. This is the uh, this is the first time to buy this kind of cheese. It's a French cheese, like a file like this mm -hmm. white cheese. Mm, I forget the name of this. So I wake up, put it out from the fridge to get it softer out in the table there. So I lie down back again. So it's time to eat now because I said it may be soft now. When I wake up, the cheese is not there. This one is totally. He didn't, he didn't show up back. The next morning, he's there. Oh. <laughs> what were we talking about last night? Mm -hmm. They're hungry. Yep. Yeah? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. yes. This, the man that my friend over there, mm -hmm. if no one's bringing food, he won't eat for the day of two, three days. Oh. Drink, 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 drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, that hurts my heart. Yeah. We but had we had our experiences last night, and and you don't know this, Bert, but I'm a medium, and I actually talk to spirits quite often, and I, I channel them through me, and no, they kept saying, "I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry." You know, I was sitting down rolling cigarette, mm -hmm. right, and the smell of this friend of mine is always the same, in the whiskey, and uh, it's really, really every day is the same smell. So I was rolling cigarette, and I can smell him over there. I said, John, leave me alone. Up to now, he never come back. <laughs> See? You do what you have to do.
person in here who says there's a special pee over there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. No. But we're going to go ahead and just go with it. Yep. Yeah. No problem. of room 21 is because Gwen and I both have tried to go into that room three or four times a piece. Yeah? We yeah. don't know why. We just feel more like it's not even our room. <laughs> yeah. It is not the confused, you know, it's the yeah. come in here. Yeah. we can do when we try to help mm -hmm. is to acknowledge yeah to identify mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring to those. bring the truth to light yep. yes sometimes that might be all they need to find to rest. be heard yeah exactly they just want to be heard yeah. exactly because there was one of the houses you know? at the back that banging on doors activity the whole lot and i asked them okay what do you do when you hear this nothing I said, next time there's banging on doors or banging on the couches or the TV goes off, ask them, I hear you, I see you, mm -hmm. you know. Or, or, at I least, looked, or at least I, I know you're here. I know you're here, I'll talk to you. Do you hear mm -hmm. that? Yes. Yeah. Ask them, I hear you, I see you, mm -hmm. you know. Or, or at I least, looked, or at least I, I know you're here. I know you're here, I'll talk to you. Do you hear mm -hmm. that? Yes. Yeah. Ask them. I hear you. I see you. Mm -hmm. You know, or or at I least looked, or at least I I know you're here. I know you're here. I'll talk to you. Do you hear mm -hmm. that? Yes. Yeah. Does it come from the other side of the wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It actually you know what, sounded you know, like it was on the on the roof. You know what's the really weird thing? What is you know that big picture that's in there? Mm -hmm. It was turned the other day when wow. we were, when we were in here. Mm -hmm. had, you want to go see if it's turned now? Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, it actually. Yeah, it actually sounds like it's on the roof. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Vanessa coming back in the room. Anything on the inside of it right now, I can tell you that there are people in water fighting for their life, actually trying to make it to uh, three or trying to get back to a boat, one's trying to get to shore. What's your voice is like? Oh, that were found in the water down from Whoa. 
This box was reportedly given to her by a lover. Okay. It's petrified wood. Dig Oh. Oh. There's, the date is clearly visible on at least one of them. 1560 something. There's four. Yeah. Only 12 were found. I've looked for them. One to land, three to boat. Holy moly. These are made of iron. Spanish pieces of eight. From Melon Leaves. Jesus. You guys like my stuff. I love your stuff. These are made of, they're made of iron. Right? They're transmitting a different frequency. <laughs> We're just going to get them the way that they are shot. and I know that this sounds really strange this one feels heavier and it has more energy attached to it mm -hmm. than the other three do because mm -hmm. it's wanting to pull through here mm -hmm. so I don't know if this one because I can't make out oh I need new contacts and glasses um it almost feels like this one was in the pocket of somebody that was higher up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which there's no way we can confirm that, so I'm not claiming that we can. Well, you see, Gronia used to um, trade with the Spanish. Mm -hmm. So those ships would have come in, docked by her, her castle, which mm -hmm. um, is, is literally overlooking the sea and then the mouth of a river going mm -hmm. into the sea. Um, and these were literally, like her castle is here, they were found like here. So whether she handled them herself or whether the, the, the she, did, she, was, she did trade with them, but this is what I'm getting from these and especially from this one right here. This was provide to provide passage to stay. Mm -hmm. They were actually wanting to leave what they were doing. Mm -hmm. A few of the people had to come here and stay. Mm -hmm. Which and would this, make sense. It, it, it makes sense because what they wanted to do is, granted, this is on the west coast of Ireland, they wanted to make their way to the east coast of Ireland so they could go to the waterway between Ireland and England. Mm -hmm. Would that be accurate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. There was a lot of that kind of stuff going Especially on because this the, the English rule, they would yeah. have controlled that mm -hmm. site. And there would be a lot of bartering. And Gronia was the one against the English. Oh, really? She, okay. she had a meeting with the Queen of England and there's some story, I think it was a story to the effect of um, she sneezed or something and the Queen gave her the Queen's hanky or something like that and she literally like threw it in a fire or did some something that horribly disrespectful to the Queen of England and everyone was like, yeah! <laughs> you know? Wow. Yeah. It wow. Was, she, was, she was the bee's knees of the whole Shabbat and Barton at that time. But here's the funny thing. She didn't want, and they didn't want, to go there to barter. They wanted to go there to infiltrate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because they knew where certain things were kept. Yes. They knew where they could fill their coffers, mm -hmm. so to speak, with more than they could have ever dreamed of, based on what was taken off the Irish's backs. There was a method to the madness. Yes. Yeah. Because they no one they were all telling her, Don't go, they'll kill you, blah 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 and she went, Yeah, don't touch me. It would it would have been or probably was, I don't know my history, but it would have been an unbelievable coup. Oh yeah. <laughs> to be able to pull off what the people, especially the person that held this one, these coins what they wanted to accomplish. I will say, uh -huh. because I think we might be picking up two things at the same time. Uh -huh. Gifted by a lover. She had a lot of lovers from all over the world. To go out loud. Okay. Lover, 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 lover. Maybe. Very well could be. Um, what was your pastor going to say? God, that one is so much heavier. And I mean, they're the same things, but it is pulling through my hand. So I'd say, I, 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 I would imagine there's a link between the person who carried that and this box. Yes. I don't know why I'm saying that to you now, but that's just something. I'm going to go mind. with it. I think you're correct. Um, because she did, she had a lot of lovers from all over the world. Now, I won't say she, she not, not that she was a slut. Uh, no, she, but she was very well respected. Um, 
and she picked and chose. Cho chose? Chose, yes. Um, here's the thing. She might have had a lot of lovers, but those lovers all had a purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Each one, would you like to hold these, Gwen? Each one <coughs> had a, a different... Trying to think of the the best way that I can put this. Um, yes. Each one had a different use based on what she needed to acquire. But here's the catch: nobody was in the dark. Mm -hmm. Each lover knew exactly what they were getting into, yep. and it was worth the risk. Mm -hmm. And everybody knew that there were no hearts necessarily involved, mm -hmm. but there was a, a, a an obscene amount of, of respect. Take respect of love any day of the week, yep. twice on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So they were willing to do whatever was necessary for her because they knew no matter what, regardless of which one they were, she was willing to do what, what was ever necessary for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accurate to the teeth. Wow. She's an amazing individual. Oh, you wouldn't even believe. Like, the stuff that she's done. Is incredible. She's a massive, massive celebrity almost. Here. She was unbelievably strong too. Yes. I mean, it was weird because I, I know that I mentioned this to Deck the other day. Uh, I think it was Deck that we were talking to, and I was talking about because I I felt a, a strong Scottish mm -hmm. connection here as well, um, and I kept seeing what I've only been told, you know, about history stories about berserkers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I she has that feel. And not only was she strong physically, all powerhouse. Brilliant. Yes. Brilliant. Intelligent. Smart. Um, she also spoke multiple languages. Yes, she did. So. Multiple lovers, multiple languages. Yes. <laughs> yes. She spoke multiple languages. Here's the thing, though. Her cunning started very early on. Yes. Um, she was actually groomed to a certain degree to be exactly who she was mm -hmm. because the person who groomed her, and I can't get a grasp on who that is, <clears throat> they knew nobody would ever suspect it until it was too late. Mm -hmm. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I will also tell you that we did a an EVP session out at Rock Street Castle, mm -hmm. which is her last film in Hamilton. <laughs> it's Ireland, <laughs> It's Ireland, okay? It was her last known in Hamilton, so uh, I, I believe this is where she died, I think. Um, but Rockfeet Castle by itself, it's literally a, a very tall kind of keep, okay? Mm -hmm. Her bedroom was at the very, very top, mm -hmm. and the rumour has it that she used to knock her bed to her boat at night. And you can see, you can see the, the little hole at the top that goes all the way down inside the wall and out the bottom, where she would have tied anchor to the, to the boat so, so no one could steal her ship. And it was a perfect lookout point going out into the sea and anyone coming down the river. Wow. And we did an EVP session there. A man came through. Mm -hmm. A very, very large man. Very brusque in voice. Very authoritative. He told us the treasure is not what you think it is. Exactly. And it's up there. Now, at the point what this was happening. Sorry, bro. The treasure is for knowledge. I've said that for years. Yes. The treasure is her knowledge. Yes. It's what she knew. It is the secrets she found out. It is the pathway she found out. It is the, it's her legacy. It is her legacy and the militant strategy that she uncovered. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what it is. I would swear she's talking to me right now because that's exactly what I heard. For many, many years, uh -huh. people disregarded that. They thought it was physical treasure buried somewhere no. in the hills around. Now, when this was happening, I knew in my head, it's, it's, not what you, it's not what they think, it's not what they think. I kept getting that in my head. And as I opened my eyes and I looked down, I was at the side of the building at this stage, and I opened my eyes and looked down, I saw this, this glint in the sunlight, and I looked down, and it was these shells. I said, it's, it, th this is what she's trying to tell me. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is her treasure. The earth, the nature, the knowledge, the, the wisdom of knowing what the hell you are and who the hell you are. That's the treasure. And where you're going. And where you're And going. never forgetting where you came from. And how to freaking get what you want. Oh, fuck yeah. You know what I mean? That was on it. Amazon, I can say fuck. That's it. Like, that, that's it. Like, you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. was the core of everything. And she knew it. It is so hot in here right now. I'm kind of cool. 
I, I actually feel like I have been covered in a hot blanket. But not in a bad way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not in a bad, it's very, it's very comforting. My face is hot. Mm -hmm. Now, I did, I did feel the shiver on my spine. That's when I know if someone's here. Yeah. I did feel that. Um, I don't know, and don't tell me, but I don't know what she looks like, but all I can see is, like, standing on this, I can't tell if she's on a cliff or if, she, or if she's on a protrusion made of stone. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't appear to have a railing around it. It's almost like, um, taunting death. <laughs> um, you know, take me if you will kind of thing. But it's just this unbelievably black hair mm -hmm. just flying out. Mm -hmm. And I can't, it's weird. I don't, I can't say if that's her or not, but that's what I'm seeing is this person looking out onto the water with this black, 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 black. Black as night hair. Well, I will say that one of the things that was picked up on at Rockfleet was uh, the medium that was with us. Mm -hmm. uh, she picked up on a lady from the ship that these coins came from. Would have had a link to Gronya herself. And she saw her sitting on the rocks and she had jet black hair. Okay. That would make a there lot of go. sense. <laughs> that would make it, because that's, I can't not see it. She's there, she's there and she was, it's almost like cleaning her feet in the water. Yeah. I can't not see it. And it's perfect. Not to sound trite or anything, but it looks like the, almost the cover of a romance novel. The way that I see her. Mm -hmm. And you know the way you were talking about the little rocky outcrop thing? Uh, this rock feet castle. The, the main road is here. And her castle is literally half in the water and half mm -hmm. on the land. So it's on a little rocky outcrop. Okay. No railings around it. No, no railings. Yeah. Yeah. Where where she she actually was in a very dangerous spot. Yes. But it was the best spot also. Mm hmm And it was almost like bring it on. Also. Exactly. It's like taunting yeah. death. Yeah. You know. I mean, bring bring your best game. Yeah. Is is kind of the attitude that I'm getting. Yes. Um, but here's the catch, and no, oh, thank you for this. Um, here's the catch is what I don't think, and maybe I mean, obviously you would know. But what I don't think a lot of people might understand about her is she might have been what some would consider ruthless. Mm -hmm. She was also unbelievably charitable for those who were hungry, for children who needed. Robin Hood. Yes. She was the female version of Robin Hood. That's why she's loved. She's loved beyond measure. Yeah. You know, her direct descendant works in the post office in Newport. Oh, yeah. I just I'm burning up, and I just got chills all down this side. She was unbelievably charitable. Yeah. Wow. If you, if you, I know you haven't seen her, but what I'll say is this, right? She didn't have the classic beauty. No. She was it, what you would call a handsome woman. Yes. <laughs> yes. And if you look at her direct descendant, who is out the road in Mike's Town where I used to live? Wow. Um, we know her quite well. Uh, she is the image of what I imagine her to look like. Oh, wow. She's very, very handsome. Yes. Woman. Not, I don't want to say she's not feminine because she's, she's very feminine. She is obviously a woman, but she is a woman who the power that she has and the intelligence that she has shows on her face better than makeup or lipstick or any adornment ever could. Which is what her alluring side was. Yes. She didn't need any of that glamour no. or glitz. No. It was just her, pure and raw. Yeah. You know, wow. She's amazing. Like she's an amazing woman. Wow. Grace O'Malley, the Irish pirate queen. Unknown exact date of birth. Historians believe the year was about 1530. We knew nothing about her until Susie stopped by our room that day. A magnificent woman who was a dynamic in Ireland's history, bowing to no one including the Queen. She commanded ships, clever in military strategies, a warrior of her people, captured twice, escaped execution, and lived well into her 70s. An epiphany happened while putting this episode together. This footage of Susie telling us about Grace O'Malley had been completely forgotten about until I began the layout for episode 7. I stumbled across the footage. This was on the night of June 14, 2020. Unbeknownst to me, 
we were nearing the anniversary of the pirate queen's death, June 18th of 1603. Then suddenly, synchronicity flooded my mind. Back in April of 2020, Vanessa had a vision, a vision of being in water, looking up, being surrounded by several people, but weren't exactly people, as the best way that she could describe it. The sky was changing colors and ash was falling. Different shapes were swimming around above her. When reviewing the footage with Susie, Vanessa described Grace O'Malley as a handsome woman. I began searching for pictures and came across a photo of Grace's statue, and the description was striking. My heart almost stopped. Vanessa's vision with the water and ash. Within the research, I found one claim that she was buried at sea, then another saying that she had been cremated, with the location of ashes unknown. Had her ashes been perhaps spread at sea? If in any case, the synchronicity of events, forgotten footage, the photo matching Vanessa's description, the vision of water and ash, the timing of all of this being put together, unwittingly in the time of the anniversary of Grace O'Malley's death, Vanessa and I are convinced it is the Pirate Queen herself letting us know she is still keeping watch.